Hello and welcome. Hello. So we thought we'd have a little, another little catch up since we saw you last, which was in Bridge North, Bridge North for our birthday, our birthday. And um, so if you follow our Instagram and Facebook, um, obviously you'll know that from there we've been to the Peak District and we've been hanging around there for a little bit and that's been brilliant, hasn't it? Mm. Um, done like quite a few bits around there. And now where are we? We are in North York Moors, so Whitby we are today. Yes, Whitby. So this is one of the places that we've, um, one of the ones that we definitely wanted to come to on our travels. So we're both really excited to be here. And um, today we went to Whitby Abbey, mm. didn't we? Um, which was brilliant. So um, we did a little bit of filming there. So we'll obviously pop that next. And then hopefully tomorrow we're going to go into the town. Is it town? Yeah. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah. 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 So very excited because we've just made our way to Whitby. Yeah, this is one of those we made it moments on our travels. Uh, because we've actually made it somewhere that we really wanted to go. Because obviously normally we don't really plan or we, we just wanted to see kind of the whole, you know, UK. But this was one of the one of the places that I uh, definitely wanted to come. So uh, let's go and have a look around. Even better. We were able to get into the overflow bit, which is good because we fit then. So able to fit in here. Um, and even better than that is that the ticket machines are not in use. So you don't actually have to pay for parking today. Oh, look at this as well. Absolutely beautiful. So excited to finally be here. Oh, there it is. We thought it was closed and I was about to have a meltdown, but I think you can still get in. Hope so. And John wants to buy that bit of land there so he can set up a CL site. beautiful and that's the house of the people who got given the estate after the dissolution i believe i haven't read the full exhibition in there because i was too excited You're in shock. i've just ruined i've just ruined john's shot he's a bit <laughs> with me now i'm just gonna go over, i'm just gonna go over here hang on did you get your shot i did i got it so i'm not in trouble anymore uh, well you are in trouble but not for that all right for something else that I know nothing about. Yeah. So, okay. Our we made it moment. Yeah, this is one of our ones we wanted to want to visit, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the colours. Like I just, oh, I just can't. Go over the colours, like the slush. More complete. It seems as though the further north you come, mm. the more. Not they didn't escape from the dissolution, but they seem they to be more complete, don't yeah. they? Like almost like we were just saying, weren't we? Down south, yeah. um, a are. lot of the stuff didn't really survive very much. But as we've got further north, we've noticed that everything that went through the dissolution, all the abbeys and monasteries and stuff, um, they seem to seem to be more complete, which mm. is great for us. Absolutely fantastic for us. And this one, the site of this was originally from like six. 58 AD, which is mental. Mm. Every, yeah, originally, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the original then one. They got not raided one. by the Vikings, the left, and then come back after that. Yeah, so. And then built the, the abbey, as you can see the remains of it now. Imagine 
much time it would take in a stone mason to just do one tiny little section. Just that one little section? <laughs> yeah, they were going to have stone masons on the site all the time. These aren't bad either. Look at that. This is one thing I love about winter touring as well. You get some incredible sunsets. Might have been. It's definitely person shaped. Although, how small were they? I don't think I'd fit in there. So, this was that beautiful CL that we stayed at last night. Yeah, literally phoned them yesterday afternoon and was like, Have you got availability? Because, and it did say you can see Whitby. Um, from here and we were like nah surely but you can actually like you can see um or, oh there i am the like abbey and stuff over there and obviously the town there so that was beautiful to wake up to when it gills what did you think absolutely overjoyed what did you think rue okay she's sulking because uh because she knows that she's gonna have to go in her little carrier soon as we head off what do you think mimi what did you think bubba <laughs> Don't know, I'm hungry, that's what she says. Let's go. Hmm? Let's go. Oh. Let's go to Whitby. I apologise about the accent. Never felt more southern in my life. Day two. Where are we going, John? Food. <laughs> and what are we going to get? Fish and chips. Hopefully they're as good as everyone says they are. Yeah, apparently they're the best in the country. How much did you say it was? 13 degrees. It's like Mankini weather. Uh, he doesn't own a Mankini, I'd just like to point that out. The Master Chips. What are you doing? Just um, Mr. Chips. Mr. Yeah. Chips. So out. supposedly the ones that were selected by the Grand Tour, but is it the best? Because we don't know. John's trying to figure out which is supposedly the best fish and chips. Yes, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Google cannot be relied upon. Hmm? What are you saying about your fish and chips? It's good. Or your chips, rather? Yeah, Mr. Chippy. And scraps? Mm. Scraps are good. Scraps are very good. Why we don't have them at home, I don't know. Well, you chucked a wobbler because you didn't have scraps. Yeah, because you, well, you said, oh, you said, oh, yeah, put, don't put scraps on that one, put scraps on my one. So what do you expect me to do? Includes our time in Whitby, which was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. And then uh, we ended up coming to a place called Helmsley, which we'd passed on our way through, didn't we? Yeah, I think we've been through it twice already. <laughs> <laughs> and we said, Oh, how beautiful it was! Um, but we actually stopped off and we didn't realize just how beautiful it was. Um, it's got a castle ruins and it's got the other abbey, isn't it? Just up the road, yeah. um, about two minutes up the road. I can't remember, I don't know how you pronounce it. R rival river, river, something abbey but it was <coughs> it was lush in it wasn't it mm. it was the most probably one of the most incredible ones we've seen so far most complete yeah yeah um so yeah and also something else in helmsley they actually allow motorhome overnight parking so they have an it's overflow an yeah it's an air they first have... air i've ever seen in britain yeah and it's free from half six to eight nine, in the morning nine Nine. Nine. Is it nine? nine, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, half six till nine in the morning. And then you can just pay and stay during the day. Um, so we used it to actually go and have a look around Helmsley during the day. Um, so yeah, so a little tip there for everybody. And just one more thing, obviously keep up to date with our adventures uh, on Instagram and Facebook, but also our blog is up and running and uh, I'm really enjoying doing some writing for that. And on that note, I just want to say a massive thank you to Gadget John for like, helping us set it up. Um, it was amazing of him to do that. So we're really, really grateful. Um, so yeah, that's it from all of us. Tinkerbell says bye. Bye. <laughs> Reluctantly. <laughs>